Hi everybody, it is week 13 of Veg Out with Sylvie and in today's CSA we have a melon, we've got some green peppers, some bok choy, some mixed beans, some radishes, some fresh red onions, some yellow squash, some more corn, some eggplant, some cucumbers, and we have some garlic. And in today's um, recipe, we are going to feature the garlic. Now the garlic is a bulb, and this I actually plunked out of my garlic. You see the garlic that we get in a CSA happens to be purple, and this one happens to be white, so they can come in different varieties. All right, this is a head of garlic, and you wanna break apart the garlic into bulbs and you could rub it together uh, to remove the skins. I'm just gonna use a knife and just gonna show you one quick thing in here. Okay. And this is nice and papery and it's attached to the garlic. You wanna see um, a garlic that is firm. It shouldn't be soft or spongy, okay? And if you cut the garlic open, and this one, you can tell it's fresh. If you see where this line is, okay, a sprout will grow as the garlic matures. And if you um, notice that the garlic has that sprout, I would remove it because it can get bitter, okay? So to make our garlic bread, all right, I have taken, this is about five, cloves of garlic and it ends up being like a heaping tablespoon of garlic and i'm just going to put this into my food processor i'm going to add some butter now the fat i like to use butter if you also wanted to use olive oil you could use maybe half a cup of butter and then a quarter cup of olive oil but i'm going to use uh three quarters of a cup. So that's one and a half sticks of butter. Uh, this is about, let's say, a heaping tablespoon as well of parsley. And these are just amounts that um, I use to make my garlic bread. This is some dried Italian seasoning I like having the freshness of the parsley and then the dried herb. So you kind of get two levels of flavor. And I rub them together just kind of to enhance those oils. And again, we're using fresh garlic, but we're also going to use some granulated garlic. Now with granulated garlic and uh, garlic powder, they are essentially the same things, just in different uh, forms. I just happen to have granulated. You could also use garlic powder. All right. And I used about, that was half a teaspoon. The recipe says a teaspoon, but honestly, you put the amount that you want. And I'm just going to add a quarter cup of salt. And that's going to just enhance the flavor of this. And everything's up. So we're just gonna buzz this really quick. Okay. So in essence, we've made some garlic butter and this is nice because it's great for garlic bread, okay? And when you're making garlic bread, you can use any bread that you want. This happens to be a baguette that I make myself, and you're gonna spread your garlic on there. Okay. And you can be as generous or as stingy as you want. Okay. And then the other thing that I like to do is I actually like to take this and wrap it in plastic wrap. And then I can freeze it for later use. So if I wanted to like make a steak and then as the steak's coming off of the grill, you can just use a little bit of this garlic butter just to kind of like melt on that steak. Okay. 
So I'm gonna take my baguette slices, I'm gonna put them in the toaster until the garlic bread is about golden brown. That is gonna vary depending on uh, your toaster. I would say maybe about between five and eight minutes on my uh, toaster and we'll be back when it's done. All right, welcome back. So our garlic bread came out of the toaster. It is nice and golden brown. I'm gonna let it cool so I don't burn myself while I taste it. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you um, some other ways you can use your uh, garlic butter. So this is just a piece of plastic wrap. I kind of uh, got it out of the food processor in a log and then I am just gonna just roll it tight a little bit and then just roll it up. Okay. And then just twist the ends. And honestly, this is a great gift to give someone that you can make. They would love some fresh garlic butter, all right, that you've made. And it's a great way, great way to preserve um, your garlic. Now, you can also take your cloves of garlic and you are going to put them into the uh, ground with the the root side down about uh, like six inches apart and in the spring you'll notice little sprouts growing and you can grow your own garlic instead of getting it from overseas because believe it or not 80 percent of our garlic actually comes from china and this is a wonderful uh crop it's one of my favorite things to grow in my garden all right or you can make some delicious garlic bread and remember this goes on some yummy vegetables as a topping you can use the garlic butter for some steak It's got great um, garlic flavor. If you want, you could put some Parmesan cheese on it or some mozzarella cheese and, and make some cheesy garlic bread. You can season it with salt um, or herbs, uh, adjust it more or less depending on how you like it. I used a quarter teaspoon of salt, not a quarter cup, okay? Just a little correction there. So make some garlic bread make some garlic butter, plant some garlic. Have a beautiful day. I love you all.